Good morning and welcome to morning meditation. We're on Psalm 65 this morning. Praise waiteth for thee, O God, in Zion, and unto thee shall the vow be performed. O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. I'm going to stop there this morning and just take a few minutes to encourage us about prayer. Uh, many people ask, well, does God hear the prayer of the unsaved? Well, the first prayer he'll hear from an unsaved person is a prayer for salvation. Uh, does he hear all their prayers? Absolutely not. Does he hear their prayers in desperation? Absolutely. The Bible tells us in Psalm 103 uh, that he'll hear the prayers of a desperate man. And so I, I believe there's a little bit of leeway there, but I don't believe there's a lot. I wouldn't argue that with anyone. Uh, but I believe the prayer God does hear from the unsaved person is the prayer of salvation. And so we need to make sure uh, that we're sharing the gospel, we're praying for the unsaved, but we need to have a vibrant prayer life, time that we spend with God every morning. I encourage you to maybe simplify it, uh, spend 10 minutes in the morning, uh, praying for yourself, the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord's direction, the armor of God, uh, many simple things like that we need for basic Christianity. Uh, at lunchtime, pray for your family, for others, uh, for the needs of missionaries. And then in the evening, spend 10 more minutes praying for revival in America, uh, for God's will to be done in our country, praying for the uh, King and all those that are in authority as the Bible commands. If you take that simple formula, you'll be praying for a half an hour a day. That's just a minimum. You can pray much more than that. But I find if you look at most uh, polls that ask people how much time they spend in prayer, most people spend less than five minutes a day in prayer. Now, besides the half an hour in prayer, I believe you ought to spend time praising God. You ought to spend time thanking God. You ought to spend time being grateful to God. That doesn't mean everything's going to go your way and you're not going to get everything you want, but it does mean that your wants will shift and become God's wants. And when we do that, the Bible says that he'll grant the desires of our heart because they're in line with his will. And so let's make sure that we focus our prayer life on the person we're praying to not the things we're praying about. Now, I've heard other people teach you shouldn't pray for your own needs because God knows them and he'll answer them according to Matthew 6, uh, 5 and 6. But if you read the sample prayer, he says to pray for your daily bread and lead us not into temptation. So we should be praying for ourselves, for our needs, not in a selfish way. James 4 says not to ask for things that are according to our will, but if we know they're according to his will, well, what's according to his will? His will is for us to be in Christ Jesus. His will is for us to find our joy and happiness, not in circumstances, but in a person. And so when we take the time to pray, realize if you're saved, he hears your prayer. When your child was small and they had struggles in their life, you never one time turned them down. And boy, when we look at that, God 10,000 times loves us more than we can love our children. Let's take some time today, spend time in prayer, spend time in his word, realize that he does hear us. Don't use vain repetition. Uh, that's the last point this morning. Make sure that, that your prayers are fresh, you keep a list, you write it down, you write down the people you're praying for, the things you're praying for, and when those prayers get answered, keep a list of gratitude, thanking the Lord for answered prayer and how he's uh, answered in different ways and different things. And boy, when you, you have that and a grateful heart, <clears throat> it's easier to pray for the right things at the right time. It doesn't mean we're going to be perfect prayers, but that's why God gives us the Holy Spirit who prays for our infirmities. That's why the Lord Jesus advocates for us. And we just need to make sure that our prayer is every day consistent and the Holy Spirit will teach us how to pray and what to pray 
and we'll see complete victory in our lives. God bless you and have a good day.